my wife, Salomon. It's about to cut you off from the gym. Mr. Beasley and the Saints coming back at you with another quick ride of talk. Probably to get started, as I always do. I'd like to give infinite and honest and prayers to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kadadash, the bonus of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the Hakim that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video be edifying first and foremost to the whole field. Then to those that cleave to the body. And <clears throat> religion is your mother, <laughs> and business is your father, Jake. All right? Because religion nurt nurtures, nourishes our people over here, man. Our people are bogged out Christians, right? <laughs> you know, they believe in all different sects of, uh, of religion, okay? And, and these different philosophies, idolatry. You know, our people love to have it so, man, because they really want to believe in everything except the Father, man, because they know believing in the Heavenly Father has to come with discipline, man. As a nature, there's a standard, all right, to uphold. When you believe in Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? When you, when you believe you're an Israelite, man, all right? And with fathers, our people, it's business, money, commerce, man, all right? Our people are, are born of, of, of trying to chase a bag, get a bag, man, all right? They fall though, man. It, it, you you transfer over from religion, which your mom, what the mother uh, spiritually, if you could grab that, your mother's going to what have you going to church when you're a younger man? Because the, the duty of your mother is to nourish. All right, the father is to provide and protect. So let me spend this full circle on what I mean. As children, where our mothers have us at, and well, we Baptists, Catholics, all right. Non-denominational, but they have us what in a church house, which we are what we are, are bounded to religion, which obviously is not the ways of the Most High. Okay, but our people are what they are are, are, are driven in that cult, that cultic, in those cultic temples, man. All right, which from children, if you are Israelite, you under religion. All right, and as you do get older. With the with with the these cultic tem temples, priest our people to get what prosperity, and prosperity comes by the way of what money or blessings. Really, they only teach money. That's all the churches teach. All right, but the mother have you though. You see, get on Second Edges two and twenty. That says uh he's gonna see somewhere around that nursing uh that nursing mother. You know, cause. We supposed to be embraced by our mother. We not supposed to be, and mother is wisdom, ultimately, man. All right. So religion is our people' wisdom, okay? Or our people' guidance, okay? Business is our people' father, which is money, okay? Our people is looking for a way to be, to inspire other people that the Lord is dealing with them by the way of what money, man, or having money. Yeah, go ahead, read, uh, start at 20. The second, that just 2 and 20. Do right to the widow, judge for the fatherless, mm -hmm. give to the poor, defend the orphan, clothe the naked, heal the broken and the weak, mm -hmm. laugh not lame man to scorn, defend the main, and let the blind man come into the sight of my clearness. Right, go back, go up to like 15 or 16, it's gonna say somewhere, it's gonna say mother embrace our children or something like that. This is going to be somewhere, right? Now. Go ahead. This verse 15. Yeah. Mother, embrace thy children mm -hmm. and bring them up with gladness. Make their feet as a pillar. Mm -hmm. For I have chosen thee, said the Lord. Right. So, he have chosen thee, which is wisdom, man. All right. And it says, uh, it's like it. uh, the Lord, he say, uh, read it again. My bad, it's like it. I Mother, embrace thy children mm -hmm. and bring them up with gladness. Right. So, wisdom brings us up with gladness, man. All right, religion have, have uh, torn apart a nation of people, man. All right, because as James speak, if any be religious, get James 2, stay where you at right there. Get James uh, 2 and maybe 26, I believe. Nah. Uh, is it one and twenty six? It may be one. 
one and twenty seven. Yeah, six twenty six. Go ahead. This James one and twenty six. If any man among you seem to be religious mm -hmm. and brittle not his tongue, but deceived his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Right, because we have a religion. You know, people be like, oh, well, when you go into that word religion, matter of fact, get the word religion so we could break this down correctly. Because people going to be like, oh, he, he said we got a religion, man. All right. Now you got to just get the thorough understanding of that, man. Okay. Get the word religion. Go ahead. Yeah, that's it. Uh, religious worship. Uh huh. Play it. Press it. So, by the way, what it is. Strong's G 2356. Three Skya. Yep. Three Skya. Go. It says religious worship. Mm hmm. External that which consists of ceremonies. Uh huh. And that's, and that's what we're a part of. Okay. What ceremonies we're a part of? The, 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 the high holy days, all right? Those are the ceremonial laws in Israel to where we what? We meet together, we greet three times a year. You know, those different things. Go ahead. Religious discipline. Right. Religion, right? So it's discipline, which it goes into ceremonial observance and worshiping. Yeah, we have a religion. It's like worshiping. Who we worship? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Every nation has somebody they worship. Even though there are other gods, all right? Go back to that. I won't go to the root of that word. So go to the root right here. Now read the root. Right here. Right here. Fearing of worshiping God. It's fearing of worshiping God. So that's our religion, man. You see? And in it, this is a. Uh, Trembling, fearful. To tremble and what? Fearful. To be fearful, and we fear for our our heavenly Father. It's a ceremony and worships as demonstration, religious, i.e., pious. Now let's see what pious mean. Religious, sanctimonious, devoutly religious, and that and what we are what devout men, man. You see, we're devout men that serve the Lord. So our religion, it's our our true mother, the way she's supposed to lead us to religion is the what? Teach us how to love and fulfill the law, which is the law. All right? Teach us how to love and the fulfilling of the law, which is our true religion, man. Okay? But it says, uh, go back to James 1 and 27. Then your, uh, what? Your religion is vain. So... <clears throat> the religion that our people was brought up as kids, myself and you other Akim and different brothers, you know, or whatever that went, probably went through this, went to different churches, believed in different things or whatever, man. Okay. That's, that was our, our earthly mothers, that religion. All right. Our spiritual mother is wisdom. Go ahead. James 1 and 27. Pure religion. Mm -hmm. And undefiled before the most high. Right. Pure religion. You see? So it's okay we be re religious, devout, and pious serving the Lord. Go ahead. Pure and religion and undefiled. Read it again. And un pure religion and undefiled before the Most High and the Father is this: mm -hmm. to visit the fatherless mm -hmm. and widows in their affliction, mm -hmm. and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Right. So that's the religion. So in other words, <clears throat> this the religion we should have. Now go back to that second address and read that. What we should do to the fatherless again? Go ahead. What that was fifteen. Two and twenty. 20. I think it was like twenty or something like that. Okay, second is just two and twenty. Do right to the widow. Mm -hmm. Judge for the fatherless. Uh huh. Give to the poor. Uh huh. Defend the orphan. Mm -hmm. Clothe the naked. Right, and you do that by giving them what these these law, statutes, and commandments, man. All right. That don't mean giving them money. All right, because <clears throat> religious is just a fearful tactic. All right, to get our people to believe in hell, to believe in what you 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 gotta pay your tights. All right, uh, uh, you know that's that churchy thing, man. All right, those cultic temples, man. Temples made with hands, in other words, 
right? So, and what business is our people for them, man? Okay? Because as we grow up, what do we believe? You got to get a job. You got to be prosperous. You got to go what? Go to college to what? Get another job to make money to afford things, right? To live in this world, man. All right? Our true father, all right, is what? This, this word, man. Guidance. What provides us stability in life? The word of the Lord, man. You see? So our people are just under that banner, all right, of money and religion, man. And our people have, have uh, failed miserably. Our people have sinned before the Lord, okay, for money. Ultimately, they're going to sin for money, man. You see? So at the end of the day, that's what's protecting our people and providing for our people, man. Failure, okay? Because business is nothing more than what it is, man. It's only a transaction period Well. One person is either getting more than the other one or it's going to be some kind of loophole and it. it'll never be even business, man, or even money. So by default, dealing with money, pretty much on this side, money is a defense. We get it. But but go ahead. Uh, this business. Go ahead. The practice of making one's living by engaging in commerce. Right. Engaging in commerce. Back and forth. Exchanging. But we know in this world, that what? It's underhand exchanging with everything. All right? It's usury. It's all different type of measures of wickedness. That's why I say the um the root of money, uh, the, the love of money is the root of all evil, man. All right? And they have fathered our people, man. You see? Get a... Uh, Proverb, y'all That's it. Get on... Um, <clears throat> We got this tree considered in terms of its volume or profitability. Mm-hmm. Get on me, please ask these seven and twelve. It's Ecclesiastes these seven and twelve. For wisdom is a defense mm -hmm. and money is a defense. Mm -hmm. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom give it life to them that have it. That's it. All right. So wisdom is a defense, which who defends you in life? The father. He is the what? He the defender. He is the provider, which defend means to protect. So wisdom is a defense. So our mother, wisdom should be what's embracing us, man. All right. Not religion. Okay. Because religion can't, can't save us, man. We talking right. about the world of religion. NLT. Go ahead. This is keys to SE 7 and 12 in the NLT. Wisdom and money can get you almost anything, but only wisdom can save your life. That's it. Perfect, man. Go ahead. Get back. Jump back to it. Uh, you want me to go to 13? Yeah. Consider the work of the most No, high. no, no. Um, Jump back to the Two. other one you was at. What? Uh, second measures? No, that, no, that was it. That was it. Salaki. But yeah, man, that's just pretty much the point, man. So I want to just show you how business, uh, religion is our people mother and business is our people father, man. All right. And ultimately, if you don't have the, the this real true money of the Lord and stored up in treasures in heaven, right, you're not going to reap mercy. And if you don't reap mercy, then what? Obviously, you won't see salvation on this side, man. All right. So I'll be right to Zada was edifying, man. Till next time, I'll see Shalom.